everybody and welcome back to Emerald Coast. We are still in early winter, but we are trying to do a little work for Razwood. There we go. A little work for Razwood. Got a whole pile of manure to haul down there, and we're going to check and see. Maybe they'll have uh, some straw that they'll need. Got a fair bit of straw over there by the uh, GSI bin. Take them some straw, and we're going to haul some uh, silage today. Put some silage down in the BGA digester. Fairly cool day so far, 50 degrees. Ground temp has been holding pretty steady around 54 the last few days. Really, there's not a whole lot left to do. A little while. Here in about a week, we're going to have uh, a fair bit of. Whoa! Here in about a week, we're going to have a fair bit of stuff to do. We're going to have a whole lot of grain to haul. Seems like all our commitments are going to be coming up here in a little bit. We've got some pigs we need to haul off the market in the next few days. So I thought we'd take today as kind of a down day and uh, bring some stuff down here to fly Razwood. log here. We're going to look to see if they're going to update it. I'll go around the side and just see what they have as far as uh, as far as the other products. Where we just put there a fair bit of pre compost, a little bit of straw, a decent amount of sugar beets. Yeah, we could definitely bring them, definitely bring them some straw. I think that's what we'll do today is uh, bring a couple loads, a couple more loads of manure down. Then maybe this afternoon, bring a uh, the uh, bale trailer out. Bring some bales down here. If you look over here by our GSI bin. See we have a fair bit of straw stacked up over there. Daryl is still over at the fuel station. I'm 
Time to get that trailer filled up. I don't know, we might have better luck banking over the gate. Maybe we'll try to come out through the horse, not the horse, but the uh, cow building. Mud seems to be a little, a little low. That feels to be a little bit low. Makes it hard to get through that uh, that grate there. Get out through here easier. Yeah. There we go. Truck wants to dig in there. To work. See those cars, they don't slow down for nobody, do they? Yeah, other than, uh, other than just tending to some, what was that? Other than just tending to animals, there really isn't a lot going on. Closed up most of the sheds over here. Put most of the equipment away. Did get some fertilizer spread out on our grass fields the other day. Hopefully that'll be ready come spring. There, he's got the truck. Got that silage over there to also do. Hold a little bit of that or processed a little bit of that the other day. So, I don't want to tip that up too fast. Have all that manure slide to the back, it will uh, totally trash the trailer. Probably flip us up. All that weight transfer. Good dude. And load up some free compost. That hauled over here.
I know what that is. I know what that jerking or that uh, pausing is. Is the build type mover script processing? It'll do that when you run at a higher game clock rate. You see, every time it pauses, it'll write a line out in that log. Here it just paused and just wrote a line out. Yeah, it's just something we have to deal with if we're going to run at a speed greater than 1x. this muddy ground real good. Post on in here. Gotta get one more load of manure. We also got our fields over here that have soybeans in them. Got those cultivated up. Nice and good. They are ready for their seed prep. What I need to do is I need to ask Raswood if they'll uh, they'll also take corn fodder for uh, future years reference. Brought the build up here from uh, the pre compost facility because it makes loading manure so much easier. So reposition. I got about another three or four loads of manure to haul. I think coming out of here went fairly well. Go ahead and do that. from the side a little bit work let me go ahead and get this manure hauled and I'll uh, be back with you in a little bit We're making our final manure run. Just about a half a load here. That will finish out all the manure we had saved up to this point. And I think what we'll do is we'll jump across the street here. 
can put some fluids in the digester. Got one over a million liters of silage over there. Probably going to take us a fair bit of winter. Get that work down. Really tell when we start pushing that manure off to the track, off the truck. Weight really starts to shift. do is we'll come around here gate over here by the animal dealer get us back out on the road kind of a county access way Here we go. Truck here. The haul and manure is one dirty job. Up up in here in our Big old JCB. Started. Well, wow. got the hydraulics. All right, let's go. That we sold some the other day and did not even look like we made a dent in the pile here. We've got a ramp that we built up here. It was really built. We had the loss loader. Did not seem to have the reach. I think this loader has the reach. Never bothered to uh, take it down. Disassemble the ramp. All right. This JCB seems to be able to process the weight a lot better. Moss loader, it was just wobbly. It just felt very unstable. Guessing if we cut the ramp down, we probably could come in here with a bigger, bigger fork. All a little bit more product at a time. Nearly four tons of product. The weight of the loader. A lot to get up this hill. Ramp.
up here at the top and it just wants to roll back. Do these beacons unfold? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, I think maybe the duels in the front also help stabilize this one a lot better. Check and see what we've got as far as capacity goes. 1.27 million liters. Mileage in there. That's going to take a while. Sure. Just one more load. Still need to get some straw down here, Raswood. This will pretty much be a daily four of ours for the next several days. Beacons off. We don't need those draining the battery. I think a few short years ago, this area here was a barren uh, lot that was overgrown with shrubs and trees. Quite the transformation in the last uh, few years for sure. of free compost over there and uh, back with you once we get the tractor hooked up to the bale trailer. So we're going to go get 14 straw bales now. Take them down there to Raswood. And that should just about do us for the day. A little shortcut around through here. Got our barley field. Good. Good. If we can't get 14 bales down off of our stack. Go.
And we'll just load these on up. Well, that didn't take too terrible long now, did it? Just about three o'clock and sun still. Kind of low. These shadows on the trees. Take this county access road we were talking about earlier. Kind of shortcut down here. It wasn't always so muddy. Take this maybe a little bit more often. Seems like this area just never really rains very well. What's going on here? Something to look at? Oh, I'll give him something to watch. All right, that was it. We'll head on back to the farm. Maybe give them a call tomorrow. See if they could uh, use some more crawl or not. We've got plenty. Hey guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click that like button. Let me know in the comments what did you think of today's episode. Not a lot of farming going on. Doing a little, little side jobs we do in winter. Keep ourselves a little busy. Down here on the Emerald Coast. Flying the Raswood factory with manure. Straw. Transporting some pre-compost that the Raswood facility makes by combining straw, manure, and sugar beets. They already had a supply of sugar beets there. Put that pre-compost over to the uh, compaction bunker. We'll have to uh, get that compacted up as they produce more. Transport it over there. Load off a little bit of silage and a whole heap pile of silage still to sell off this winter so that'll keep us busy throughout the cool southern winter down here so until next time happy farming be sure to like subscribe and click that notification bell